Hello and welcome to episode number 69 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is, do you have a game plan? Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Now, one of the reasons why I'm asking this today on today's podcast episode is because when I'm sitting down and it is this November, what's the date today? It's November the 23rd. I'm sitting down, I'm wondering what is my 2017 game plan going to look like? How has my vision changed from this year, what I wanted to create this year, to what I've actually created, to what I am looking to create next year, and how I'm going to get there? Now, when I'm looking inside my business a long time ago, I would focus on the short-term gratification. Things like worrying about where my next leads were coming from, wondering where my next clients were coming from, getting worried that clients would leave me, they would drop off, and I would be sitting there with zero clients. And so I remember in 2015, I was in Bali, and I was running what I thought was an online business, but it really wasn't. I, th- I thought I was running a business that was giving me more freedom that I could run from anywhere in the world. And a lot of times when you fall into this trap of being so scared because you're constantly focusing on short-term gratification, the short-term gain, the short-term monetary value of getting clients, you know, signing them up for $500, $1,000, or however much you're signing them up for, you start to lose sight of what the overall vision is. And what I mean by this is you know when you're marketing short term and you know you're looking at your marketing this month and you're looking at trying to keep the cash flow in your business up for this month because I'm going to be honest if you don't have cash flow you, you that you're going to run out of fuel for your business okay cash flow is the fuel and the vehicle that your business needs to survive and I really truly believe that it's that it's important but I truly believe that every single person in order to succeed you need to have a long term plan and a long term plan comes into branding it comes into what character are you building what character are you going to become or who are you going to become in the next over the next 12 months because ultimately as fitness and health and fitness professionals people are buying you okay they're buying the the person that you represent they're trying to plug into you okay what i mean by plug into you is if that you imagine like this is the way i think about it is that it's the matrix and people are plugging into you to attain your knowledge okay to attain the result to attain you know, they're plugging into you and they're just letting you pull them towards their goals. Okay, so who do you have to become and what do you have to re- represent? What characters, what traits do you have to represent for them to want to be attracted to you in order to pull yourself? And that comes in positioning, that comes in branding. So a lot of the times, you know, in the past, when I've constantly looked at the instant gratification, the short-term gains, the, the getting clients this month, signing clients, it was what I felt like I had a leaking hole inside my bucket. That no matter how many times I tried to fill up with clients, I would lose them again and I'd be shit scared. And so, you know, the whole point of building a business is to find your life. That's the meaning that I give it in, in my life. And if it's not funding my life, I've literally failed. And so for a long time, I failed because I was literally consistently filling up clients after clients after clients. And so it wasn't until I started focusing on branding, started focusing on positioning, that, and, and really started focusing on the longer-term game, and the longer-term game being, okay, how can I be top of mind in my client's mind? How can I be the go-to expert in this particular field? And how, how can I present myself as a new, unique opportunity to them that they haven't seen in the marketplace before? Okay, that it all completely changed. So, you know, sitting here today reflecting on what, what the 2017 game plan is for me, the online trainers club, for all my clients, it's wondering where am I going to take them? What am I going to do with them? And, and ultimately, what do I want to create as a brand and as a business? And I want you to think back to your own brand. What are you creating? Are you just training people? Or are you creating a movement? Okay, what movement are you creating? And ultimately, if you are creating a movement, how can people resonate with your one thing so that it becomes so easy to understand so that your message can penetrate the marketplace? Because as I've told you before, if you don't have the one thing, okay, if people don't understand your one thing, like Donald Trump, make America great again, right? For PBC, it was get strong and lean without doing any cardio. You know, 
what is the one thing that you want to represent so that you can throw rocks and stones at your competitors and the things that aren't you know, in alignment with your values? Okay, so sitting back and reflecting, you really have to look at number one, the short term game, because cash flow is king. Okay, cash flow keeps your business alive. Cash flow allows you a vehicle to to spend more on advertising, reach more people, get in front of more people. Okay, but at the same time, if you don't have branding and positioning, if you're not trying to build trust, putting yourself out there and, and sharing your one thing and telling stories and, and really creating a, you know cre- really creating seduction for your product and service for what you create. You're not going to have long-term stability and long-term market share and long-term domination. Okay, so that's that's what I want you to think about today is where are you going in 2017? What movement are you going to create? And how are you going to create that movement? What tools, what resources do you need in order to create that movement? Okay, because whilst it's great to keep focusing on the income, we get the biggest kick when we create impact, when we contribute, when we grow. And so I know, I know a lot of times for me inside my own business is that creating the monetary income was great, but it wasn't fulfilling because it was just more work and I wasn't fulfilled by the work because I couldn't see the growth and I couldn't see the contribution I was having. And as soon as I started focusing to this longer term vision, this movement, this impact, things started to change. And that's that's what I want you know, you to do inside your business or really keep an open mind about and really have a think about, well, what's your long-term game? What are you doing for 2017? But ultimately, you know, what movement do you want to create? What movement of people, you know, and why I'm telling you this is because as we dive into health and fitness, it's it's really more about health and fitness. It's, it's about empowerment. It's about trying to be the best version of yourself. Just because you're in health and fitness, it doesn't mean that you have to stop in health and fitness. You can take on greater skills and develop yourself as a coach, as, as a life coach, as, as a psycholog- psychiatrist and a psychologist to understand what people can do to really help them attain their goals. And that's where I'm seeing this online personal training, online coaching space move towards. It's, it's not about just weight loss. It's why do they want to lose weight? And ultimately helping your clients achieve their, their hopes, dreams and desires, whatever it may be. Okay, so I want you to really think about today on this podcast episode, what is the movement that you want to create? What's the impact that you want to have? And what's your 2017 game plan so that you can start putting in the long-term work today? Okay, and once again, like I've always said, you need an accountability buddy. The people that achieve results are the ones that are kept accountable because we'll do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. So if you don't have one, go and send this podcast to somebody who is or who you think will be able to pull you up, who you admire and who you want to be kept accountable to. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next podcast episode. All right, if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review in that way. I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients, and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening.